all my beautiful soul family, light workers, star seeds, family, friends, soul tribe family, and welcome to my channel. This is Patricia 1111. I'm coming in today with uh, just an over overview of um, a, a readings, a reading that I want to give out to all of you from uh, January to February into March. It doesn't mean that I won't do other videos in between. Uh, but for now, uh, I would like to also tell all of you here is that, um, uh, like I said, I'm going to pace myself to come back. I'm not ready to be shown on camera at this time. It's nothing personal and no offense to anyone out there. Uh, this is the message I'm getting that it doesn't matter how I do the reading. As long as you hear my voice, um, I love you you want to see me, but uh, just uh, have patience as I will come back and I will show your, myself to you. Uh, but at this time, uh, what I really want to concentrate on is uh, uplifting the collective. There's a lot of things happening worldwide at this time on the collective. And uh, I think it's important that I'm coming in just to give you a um, heads up on what's going on in your sign. Okay. So um, like I say always, this is a myth. <laughs> my singing bowl and it's a mini meditation that I'm going to do before I start the reading. Of course, I'm going to invoke my higher self, our beloved universe, our Holy Spirit okay, or source, uh, God for other, you know, whatever word you want to use, uh, our beloved Mother Gaia, Mother Earth. Of course, I'm going to invoke uh, my angels, my fairies, my archangels, and last but not least, I will invoke uh, my ancestors to protect this reading. While you come through this reading at any time, you will be protected. You will be given a lot of energy and love sending your way and light. Okay, so now all you need to do is take a deep breath in. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even start yet. Okay, so take a deep breath in. I'm going to invoke Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space and do the same thing for all of you out there. Next, I'm going to invoke Archangel Raphael to come in with healing energy for those that want to embrace it. Take a deep breath in and release. Then I'm going to invoke Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. Archangel, uh, uh, sorry, Arch Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective. You could add on something if you want. I'm going to put in world peace, unconditional love, health, ab abundance in any shape or form, unity, peace. I said that already. Yes. Light, love, compassion, kindness. And you could add something else if you like. a deep breath in and let's release perfect okay um so i just want to take a moment to send um, a big hug from me to you out there, from my mom, Joannina, of, of course, myself, my daughter, my family, my fur babies, um, sending out love and light and uh, peacefulness. Everything's gonna be all right. The light has won already. I want to thank everybody here for all 
that you have done for me uh, for uh, you know being here and uh, supporting and I've been receiving so many messages from all of you and uh, I thank you uh, everyone I thank all of you here for uh, supporting me at this time and um, that I'm not a hundred percent yet um, you know I do put a lot of work into my videos and um, you know and it's all for like uh, sometimes I, I I do go overboard because you know I want to help but I have to uh, stop and um, take care of myself too you know in between because uh, I was burning out and that's why I'm pacing myself to come back and I'm telling this on uh, being vulnerable and telling you all of this that uh, just to let you know that uh, I will be back you know and you will be seeing me my face again but for the meantime uh, let's get the readings on the go okay uh, if I could come in a bit now with uh, you know January February and March reading um, and um, so and also another thing I want to say is that my mom is still praying for all of you and more than ever she is praying and healing the collective so and she is praying for all of you here on YouTube three times um, a day so if you do want to leave a message to my mom um, if you want to mention uh, someone else that you want to help or yourself or your family your children your pets whatever it is okay or for the collective go right ahead and uh, just know that you are loved and now let's get started with your readings I'll be right back Hello Virgo and welcome to your three month prediction reading. So yes, I know January is almost finished, but I will do an overall of what took place in January for you and then February and March. And then I will close it off with an Oracle card, new Oracle cards as well that I got for all of you here. Uh, again, thank you uh, for all your beautiful messages. Thank you for your kindness. Uh, I'm really overwhelmed with all the messages coming in uh, and at this time if you don't see my face well at the beginning of the reading where this where I do the meaning meditation of the singing bowl you'll understand why uh, I'm not showing myself at this time okay so I'm I'm like you guys I'm in the hermit mode <laughs> okay so let's get started with your reading so this reading is for Virgo Sun anywhere that you have Virgo in your chart this is your reading if uh, the reading resonates claim it but if it doesn't then look at your rising which is your ascendant sign. You look at the moon, Venus about love and finances, and also your north node. Okay? So, let's get started with your reading. I really pre-shuffle the cards. We're ready. Leave now in the month of January. What has been happening for all of you since I haven't been around? Okay. Mm, okay right so there's a few cards that came out here I just want to see all right well in the root of the situation here, some of you could have been dealing with a twin flame. There's a divine uh, connection here. This could be the twin flame, a soulmate, a lover, a friend. There was a decision that was rendered here, okay? There was a decision that was done, some type of decision or a choice that had to be done. And uh, the, what's the challenge is that with the page of wands reversed, is something is not in divine timing. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It just means that it's not in divine timing at this time, okay? Um... In the way of the situation, you have the judgment reverse. So that definitely there was a judgment call, some type of judgment that took place, some type of choice that had that was done here. Uh, this can this could be about you and the other person uh, that you're dealing with, or it could also be uh, from uh, you know the collective at this time. Okay, uh, in the past here, it's a ten of cups reversed. So yeah, this uh, new beginning taking, uh, you know, the, this new beginning and love here did not take place here because definitely I see that the, maybe in the situation there was not enough passion maybe, um, okay? Or it could be uh, if it's, well, mostly what I'm getting from the divine here is that it was not in divine timing for this to come in yet. Uh, with the four of cups here, okay, some of you are being shown. There's someone here that's being shown all the time. Is not interested in the past. Doesn't want to know nothing about the past. Doesn't even want to look at the, you know, they're, they're bored. Uh, there's boredom here. There's uh, not wanting to see uh, rejection, okay? And in the immediate future, you have 
the seven of swords. So someone here is not uh, being truthful, is not being honest in the situation and how they're truly feeling. They're not, they're, if you notice in the four cups here, okay, you see how their um, arms are crossed. They do not do, they do not want to open up that heart chakra whatsoever. Okay. And um, underneath the deck, I do have the page of uh, Pentacles reversed. So there's not, there, there, there is no offer here. Someone gave up, gave up on the situation here. And these cards came out in the reading too, okay? So there was something definitely that was lopsided here, okay? Uh, it was not um, whatever you're giving, you were not receiving here. Something was off balance. And I got the Queen of Cups, the Three of Wands, and I got the World cards. There's something that's coming full circle. There's an ending here, definitely in the month of January for some of you out there. Um, and there's a new beginning taking place. The Queen of Cups energy is someone that is able to express themselves. They're able to give love. There's someone here that's emotionally available and they're moving forward. And with the Three of Wands energy means that your manifestations are coming to the forefront. Okay, so your ships are coming in. But I will take extra cards here, okay? Just to uh, just uh, one card each on, okay? So let's see something. Oh, that's fast. I didn't even call this card. There was a lot of unhappiness with the sun card. This is what it showed me, okay? Now let's look at the judgment reversed here. Let's look at the ten of cups reversed. Two cards wanna come out. Let's look at the four of cups. Let's look at the seven of swords. Beautiful. Let's look at the Page of Pentacles reversed. You got the Ace of Wands reversed with the Five of Swords reversed. Okay, and let's look at the conclusion. I'll put them here. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Again, decision, decision, choices. This this is all that that's coming to the forefront for me right now, what I'm seeing. So yes, uh, the challenge here is that something was not in divine timing. If this had to be a soulmate, a friend, a lover, a twin soulmate, whatever it is, you're, something was not in divine timing. Okay, there was a choice that had to be done here in this connection. There was a lot of unhappiness or not happy moments here, whatever this is for you. And in the root of the situation is someone was feeling stuck and overthinking about it too much. Maybe they made a fast judgment here. In the recent past, you got the Ten of um, Cups. Okay. And yes, you have to go through some type of emotional experience here where you have to let go. You have to find the silver lining in the situation where you did overcome. And by overcoming that, you got the Queen of Wands upright, which means that you're coming out of that, okay? So you're feeling creative, you're feel, you went through a lot of transformation, you're feeling uh, outgoing, um, just that type of feeling that's coming in here for you, okay? Very magical energy. Now, in the what is coming up here for you, okay, is uh, you're moving past the situation very quickly. With the Four of Cups, you got the Chariot and you got the King of Swords. So what's happening is that you're moving past quickly through this Four of Cups energy, through unhappiness and something that was not in divine timing here, where, <clears throat> you know, it's about uh, taking your power back and moving forward. Uh, for some of you, this could be about buying a vehicle. For some of you, this is about traveling. Whatever it is, you're determined and there's a lot of ambitions. With the King of Swords, you're very focused and you know where you're going. It talks about uh, you also being very aloof, okay? Cutting through, cutting through the fog here. A lot of uh, uh, communication that's taking place here in the situation. But definitely here, maybe some of you are dealing with this type of energy or this is you. What's coming in for you is that uh, <clears throat> here, what I feel is that the truth will be told in a situation. Okay? The truth will be told. Or there was some type of truth that will be told. Or if it's not here yet for you in January, it might follow through for February. We'll see now. And uh, this is about... Uh, <clears throat> 
something that's coming into balance. Some of you are cuspers here. So hello to the cuspers. Okay, and it's about the truth and nothing but the truth. And there's a beautiful healing that's taking place here of someone that is with really withholding their information or withholding something or they're not wanting to say anything here, okay? But there is a beautiful healing. And this is about having the courage, the strength, the willpower, okay? Um, and moving forward and something finally coming into balance because something was really off balance before. Um, now over here, what I... Being shown is like with the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Swords reversed, the Ace of Wands reversed. There was too much um, bickering back and forth in the situation. I see someone like saying, I'm not playing, I'm not doing this anymore, I'm done. Okay, because there was nothing con concrete and there was not enough passion. There was a lot of frustration here. And I see that this person was very restless in energy. Okay, they were coming in and out, coming in and out of the situation. And what I got as a conclusion for January... Is definitely here. <clears throat> there was a tower moment that took place in the past, okay, and uh, someone walked away with the Eight of Cups, wanting to fulfill their dreams to go to the Ninth and Ten of Cups. Someone here with the Five of Cups reversed uh, came full circle, finding the silver lining of the situation here. And there could be closure. There could also be reconciliation. It doesn't have to be for some of you, okay. But going through this, uh, you have manifested some type of money or some type of offer that's coming in that's tangible here you raised your vibration and again it all talks about decisions decisions decision opening up that heart chakra because i do see that uh, there is a beautiful connection your telepathic connection but i also see here at the same time that someone's really worried about this okay or it can't stop thinking about someone and i also feel here um oops Okay, is that you are going through a transition. It won't be an easy one, but you will go to calmer water. Some of you might be relocating or moving. And uh, someone is planning this very slowly. They're coming in very slowly, but they're planning ahead. Okay, they're taking their time. They know their target. So this is for the month of January. So this is your reading for January. And now we're going to take out... I'll put these cards here. I'm going to take out messages from the our beloved universe to see what is the message here for you. For those of you out there, could, I could put a timestamp for just a singing bowl, January, February, March. If you could do it, thank you so much. I will pin it, I will pin it on the top so everybody could see it. See if you can do that. So let's see. Virgo, January. Oh. Three cards came out. Let's see what they are. Okay. So you have separation. Surrender into your heart and divine source where there is separation. Uh, sorry. Surrender into your heart and divine source where there is no separation. The highest levels of love always serve and are without conditions. Then you have triggers. Emotional baggage is running the show. Rich we train the internal so the external can change. And last but not least, you got a fragile heart. And it says here, you can be vulnerable and trust in this connection. Your fragile heart is safe. Okay. So this is for the month of January. Now we're going to go into the month of February of 2022. So let's shuffle the cards a bit. February for Virgos. Hashtag Virgo team. Okay. Cards are ready for you. Let's get started.
One more card for Virgo, please. <laughs> okay, here we go. The overall energy is still around, the Four of Cups, okay? Something that you're not wanting to see here, whether it's you or another person, feel free to swap the energies around, right? So, uh, yeah, it's about crossing your arms here, not wanting to know anything. Some boredom is there too, not wanting to see the messages that are coming in, not wanting to look into the past, and closing up that heart chakra of yours, or whoever this is in the overall. Now, where you're at is this King of Cups reversed, okay? Or there could be a situation around you. The challenge, King of Cups reversed is coming in with the challenge. The challenge is coming in with the tower with the King of Cups reversed. So there will be some type of unexpected change that's going to take place here for you. Some of you might be feeling, uh, you know, very moody, very emotional, not emotionally available at this time. We're going to look deeper into it after. Uh, in the root of the situation, you have the Six of Wands. So it does talk about victory. There is some type of victory, okay, or success here that's going to take place. I also see traveling as well for some of you not usually the six of swords is traveling but for this is also feel that this is about your community or um for those of you that are artists out there that you music musicians out there you're going into uh, different states or different places here or countries uh where people your friends the people that love you are there for you you could be meeting someone that's famous maybe you're famous whatever the case is it's about victory Okay, and success here. In the recent past, you had the Five of Pentacles reversed. This is good. You came complete full circle here. Um, you were feeling like this, left out, abandoned in the cold, uh, not knowing where to go, uh, hermit energy, you know, I feel. Um, maybe loss of money and coming full circle. There's some type of gain that's coming towards you. Where, uh, where you're headed at with the Seven of Cups, okay, it talks about where you have a lot of dreams and ambitions. So, uh, yeah, and... What I do see is uh, keep dreaming big because they will be successful here. And in the immediate future, you've got the star card. The star card talks about where, um, you you know, following, following, up, following the star. You know, like the Hermit too has that, you know, in some of the cards where they're following their own light or their star. This talks about uh, something that, um, you know, you wished upon that is going to come true. And it's about uh, inspiration. It's about, uh, you know, feeling... Uh, blessed and having that faith there's something that you know with the king of pentacles reversed the ace of wands reversed here uh some of you were uh maybe uh in the past year it shows that um there was some type of unstableness could be that you lost money there was a lot of frustration there was not enough passion in a career or in a situation but you manifested there's something that you um you are lifting your vibration up here it shows that you have all the tools here and what's great about it is that uh there is definitely here, divine is asking me to take these cards, okay? So, you know, you have to understand when these things happen, they happen. Um, so you are manifesting higher, all right? And what's coming in for you is the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. So there is a second chance that's taking place with Jupiter. The wheel is turning in your favor. This is about something that's destined and faded coming in, and there's luck here, okay? With the Page of Wands... It's a new start of something passionate in your life, okay? You are reinventing yourself. That's what I feel. You've been seeing the signs, the synchronicities are coming in, in divine timing, okay? A lot of messages coming in, fast-paced messages where you're going to be moving around a lot with the car or just traveling back and forth. And with the Ten of Cups, there is a relationship here, a soulmate relationship. If, let's say, you're single and you have nobody, well... I will say that uh, you are feeling really great at this time, okay? Uh, in your emotions, you went through all the cups to get where you are. There's a lot of contentment, happiness in your home. And for others of you, there is a relationship here for you, okay? So now let's look at this King of Cups reversed and the Tower. Ace of Swords reversed, the King of Wands. Let's look at the Six of Wands. Oh boy, <laughs> they went in my coffee. Let's look at the Five of Pentacles. Hold on a second, the card got dirty. Five of Pentacles reversed. Let's take a card. Oh, okay, there's a few cards that want to come out here, so we'll leave it there. Let's look at the Seven of Cups. Let's look at the star card. Let's 
Let's look at the four cups. Some of you are not able or having a hard time dealing with emotions of the past. You're not wanting to go there because, you know, maybe something is, uh, you know, you, you get stuck in that. Okay. And now we're going to take, I'm going to take out the conclusion here. So I'm just going to put them here. The conclusion of this reading, please. All right. Okay. It's important to follow your intuition because uh, this time, maybe in February, there's something that's happening because you do have the tower moment that's coming in, okay? So definitely there, like, you're having a tower moment that's coming in and you, it might, uh, you know, shake you a bit. Uh, you might not be able to be able to express yourself. Something shut down here. It could be someone that cut you off, um, someone that cannot express themselves. But you will come out of it because I got the King of Wands energy. So... Definitely, just a, I don't feel it's going to be for a long time. Uh, it could be for like a, just a month of uh, February that's taking place. But I feel with the King of Wands, if this is you in energy, you're going to be moving past this, okay? With passion, with fire, and moving forward and going after what you want, whatever it is for you. Now, in the rid of the situation here, I feel that... I'm just going to take it... Um, wait. I'm just going to put this on the side here for a second. All right. Just... Just gonna take an extra card here for the five of swords. Where's the five of swords here? What's this about? Yeah, okay. Yes. Um, let's say you've been fighting with someone for a while, just a lot of arguments, petty arguments, or someone that you've known for a long time here. Someone surrendered. There was some type of surrendering that took place because I feel that. You know, uh, some of you were dealing with someone that was bullying you or not just bullying you, but let's say like you get into an argument, you say one thing, then they say one thing. There was, and someone here has a white flag, okay? It's like, this is what I'm feeling. So there could be like uh, in the way that you're thinking about the situation or there's someone here that does not have your back Virgo whatsoever. And I feel that you need to uh, set stronger boundaries in this situation, okay? Because someone here did surrender. Now... What I'm being shown here underneath the deck of the root of the situation, you got the Six of Wands, the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you might be going at this alone at, uh, for, uh, for a moment, okay? Or you're very in the, independent here. You're watering your own, uh, you're watering your own plants here. Um, there's new opportunities. This is Venus, okay? So Venus is coming in, love and finances to give you new opportunities. Having that mind is touch, it also could be about fertility. And you did get the Three of Wands energy. What shows is that you're uh, moving past an energy that was very you felt very stuck in and you had a hard time in, in this situation. And what's showing me is that your ships are coming in. So that's really nice to see that. Now let's look in the recent past. Okay, in the recent past, uh, you were very tired. You were carrying so much on your shoulders, exhausted. Exhausted, exhausted, exhausted. Okay, and the 10 becomes a 1, so you... Uh, you know, you still have a bit of a journey, but it, the 10 becomes the one. So something got lifted here. You know, again, like you came full circle. Uh, okay, so there is some type of gain that's coming through. You also got the 10 of swords reversed. You went through a lot here. Okay, and uh, a lot of you um, lost passion or lost energy. And you removed energy from a situation. What shows me here is that you have a lot of dreams and there is a wish fulfillment that's coming in and it will be granted to you. Okay, uh, at this time, I feel here uh, with the Queen of Swords reversed, the Seven of Swords and the Star card, there's someone here that's shut down. Okay, with the, like I also got the Ace of Swords, right, before? So someone here that's not communicating, that's angry, someone that's keeping all this within them. I feel like you are doing this, you're not really expressing yourself. You have shut down, maybe you're not communicating with someone here. Uh, whatever the case is, is that you're still looking into the past about the decision that you made in the past, okay? Uh, with the star card, it's a wish fulfillment that's coming in for you. It's about uh, having uh, restoring your faith again. And then this is what I feel like you are going to be going through. And it's about inspiration. Um, what I'm being shown here is that a lot of you are not wanting to look into the past, okay? Um, whatever that divine is trying to tell you here, you're over it, you're no care, uh, you have your arms crossed, you're bored, it could be so many things, you're rejecting it, you don't want to see it, 
but it has to do with uh, past emotions you're in, okay and where you're feeling stuck and you're overthinking about a situation but look what i have here i have the queen of wands with the king of wands okay so there is passion here there's something magical that's taking place with the king and queen of wands in the overall i showed you right what's happening okay this is beautiful like look at this you got the magician the wheel of fortune the eight of wands the page of wands and the ten of cups now you're gonna say when is this gonna take place well let me just tell you it's in divine timing okay so there is no date exactly now in the conclusion i have the four of pentacles the three of pentacles the knight of wands completion and the seven of wands whatever the situation is whatever these obstacles were you're already on top of it you overcame them so the, the success here you're still holding on to something holding back you still your heart chakra is not completely open here okay it's like you're, you're you know you're keeping it to yourself and uh whatever the situation is there will be cooperation and it's there's a strong foundation here and there will be some type of action someone's coming in or you're going to be taking action but there's definitely someone coming in okay and there is action here in the situation and you're completing something okay there's endings coming full circle there's endings and new beginnings learning the life lessons okay so this is your reading for uh february it was a bit longer because there's there was a lot to cover and i didn't want to leave you stranded either okay and um and so now we're going to take out a few cards from our un uh, beloved universe. And then we're going to get into the month of March. All right. Okay. Okay, you got four cards. So let's look at them together. So here you have deception that's the seven of swords energy someone is, is is not being honest or or is withholding information okay someone is complete, keeping something to themselves they say attract it says you set your intentions high and you know you deserve to receive love joy and happiness so set your intentions trust your divine counterpart is already in your life and need to trust in divine plan at this time. This talks about divine timing that I was telling you. And fragile heart. You can be vulnerable and trust in this connection. Your fragile heart is safe. When I'm picking up with the deception card, I don't even want to look at deception because that's not what spirit is saying. Whoever, let's say if you met someone in your past or whoever, could be anybody in your life. Okay, someone in the past that something did not work out, but there was definitely some type of beautiful connection and there could have been a possibility uh i feel that that person never told you the truth the truth was never been was wasn't told they they're they're because there's a lot of frustration and or anger inside of them they shut down okay someone you really needs to i don't know hear that all right so now let's go to your march reading I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. If you do want this cup, the 1111 cup here in purple, I think I had, there's a couple of colors. In the merch, you could receive, uh, you could uh, buy one, but I will not take any proceedings from it. So you could go ahead and buy it from the site, but I will not, because usually the merch, you know, you make a bit of money. I don't make money off of it at all. I don't want the money. But if you do want it, it's there for you. And I think it comes in like uh, other colors too, if I'm not mistaken. For those of you that have been asking me, you know, where I got this. I designed, I designed this cup. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyway, let's start. Okay. This is for March Virgo 2022. Let's see what's happening here for March for Virgo 2022.
you hear any storing, it's sandy in the background. All right. All right. All right. So this, okay. So now in the overall energy, like uh, we said in the month of February, is that uh, you need to set strong, stronger or stronger boundaries here. Okay, Virgo, in a situation, this could be in a workplace uh, or you're dealing with someone here. But what I'm being shown is uh, with the sun card is that there's happiness that's coming in here. The sun is going to be shining on you again. Yes, Virgo. There is light at the end of the tunnel and you're going to be happy again. Okay, this talks about happiness and your walls going down finally. Okay, and of course, abundance. Where you're at is, um, well, karmically, something took place here for you, okay? In the month, uh, maybe for some of you, you're feeling it still. There's some type, uh, maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. It's not, this happened sometime in December, but it's still showing up right now for some odd reason, okay? For some of you, uh, but this is something that karmically, uh, the challenge is that this, you already went through this and there's... Patience is needed in a situation here, and I feel that moderation is needed. Your body, your mind, and soul. Some of you are asking for divine intervention in a situation here. So uh, someone is, is, is making too much quick judgments on a situation. In the root of it is the Three of Cups. So this has to do with the past. Maybe some of you are feeling bad about someone of the past here. It keeps, it keeps re-entering your reading for some reason, Okay. So this is about interferences, people or places or third party situations. In the recent past here, you were not able to bring in love to the table, okay, or show any love at that time because you did not have enough for yourself here, okay? And what's coming up here uh, for you is that you've got the seven of pentacles. You're, you really are watering your own, you know, seeds right now, okay? Uh, taking care of yourself, okay? And, and uh, seeing how far you come, whether if it's your investments or yourself, okay? Whatever it is, you are going to be a crossroads. But with the sun card, oh, sorry, with the star card, it talks about, you know, your dream, okay? There's something that you truly desire here. And uh, it's about having inspiration uh, restored, okay? Faith restored and following those that dream of yours, okay? Because it's it will be granted if you truly desire it. Now, in the immediate future, I see here is that um, some of you are uh, in, you're not, I don't know, something here that uh, you're angry, you're frustrated at. Okay, uh, not having enough passion in it. Uh, right uh, in the near future, I see that some of you, you're not looking at your, you're not looking at your dreams. You're not dreaming big. Okay, you're still releasing something here. Because why? Because when I saw in the month of February, okay, is that there is someone, whether it's you, Virgo, the person you're dealing with here, okay, someone here does not want to open up that heart chakra because if they have to, if they have to go too deep, they have, they're scared to go too deep into it. So there is still again. Uh, you know, these three cups are like in front of them, okay, they're spilled over, they're empty, but, uh, you know, and they're, you know, it could be resentment, hurt, guilt, uh, loss, okay, uh, here in the situation. I'm not talking about loss of uh, someone passing away, no, loss of not talking to a person or situation or emotions. And uh, it's about finding a silver lining here, okay, because there's, those two cups are still there and there is a beautiful connection here for you. It is a wish fulfillment for some of you. Definitely a wish fulfillment. Okay. And I do see that at this time, you've been taking a lot of time off. Okay. In the hermit mode, taking time off to heal your body, mind, and spirit, and getting the clarity that you need. So now, what I will do is I will start clarifying the cards. See what else is going on. Why is the temperance reversed? That was quick. You got the Ten of Pentacles reversed, the Three of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Three of Pentacles. Let's look at the Ten of Swords reversed. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed? This is your challenge, is the Ten of Swords reversed. You got the Nine of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. Okay, give me a card for the Three of Cups in the root of the situation. Go to Page of Swords. Now, this is normal because Venus is still in a retrograde. Mercury entered retrograde, so... For sure, there could be uh, people from the past that are returning, right? Nine of Cups in the recent past reversed. Why is the Ninth of Cups reversed? Okay. Definitely, there's Cuspers here. Definitely, your Cuspers are very strong in the reading. So are other Virgos, not just the Cuspers. But I do want to mention the, cus the Cuspers because I don't, I don't feel that they're, men they're mentioned enough. <laughs> okay, the Star card. The Six of Cups. 
the Hierophant reversed, the Nine of Swords. Why is the Five of Cups here with the Seven of Cups reversed and the Ace of Wands reversed? Got Temperance. Okay, let's try. Lions Gate 888. I had something to do with Twin Flames for some of you out there. Okay, I don't know who that message is for. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes, I have to take a, one more card for the Nine of Cups and the Four of Swords here. Nice. Okay, so when I asked about uh, the Temperance reversed with the Ten of Swords reversed here, okay, where you are at, because that's your, uh, this is a, the challenge. What's being shown to me is that uh, you didn't get to the Ten of Pentacles, whether this is, has to do a, a job or money, an investment, or the fruit of life, understanding the fruit of life in a situation. Um, or unexpected money that was supposed to come in that maybe there's a delay here. The Three of Pentacles, something here uh, crumbled. There was no cooperation, okay, not a strong foundation. Someone here was being pulled in too many different directions or two directions here. And uh, very rest, uh, I feel that there was a lot of rest, restlessness, like coming in and out of a situation, not being sure. Now, in the root of the situation here, I feel that uh, there's going to be communication from the past coming back, friends, people interfere, people, whatever it was, people, situations, whoever is from your past. And I feel here that uh, it's going to be different this time around, Virgo, if you are going to be talking to people from your past. Uh, there's a lot of online communication here, text or email. Um, it's about uh, you're seeing things on a different way, on a different level here, perceiving things differently, talking differently. Ideas are coming, uh, like things are coming in here for you, okay? And uh, maybe some of you are dealing with a Queen of Cups energy, okay? This could be someone that's also, that's very emotional, very stable and very emotional here, is able to express their emotions. And uh, it's about following your intuition, okay? So this person may be very intuitive. They could be a psychic or a medium, um, or this is you in the energy, okay, that's coming in here. But definitely there's going to be a lot of beautiful messages taking place for you, okay, from the past. So don't be afraid to open that door because you'll know if someone's bullshitting you, Virgo. You'll know, okay? So, and if you know, you just cut them out and you know how to do that, okay? In the recent past, something was really unjust here, okay? There could have been lies in the situation. Um, servants, like, things were very unjust, okay? And uh, you weren't able to give love. But with the Five of Pentacles reversed, again, uh, you probably went through like letting go of resentment, the hurt, the guilt, feeling left out, loss of money. Whatever it is, there's a gain because it's reversed. Now, uh, what is coming up for you here, okay, is a lot of you are reevaluating everything. And you're also reevaluating your past, okay, not just in, um, just in money, but also your past, okay. So there's a lot of emotions at stake here. Um, some of you, this could have been a marriage that you had and for others of you this is about learning learning what well not learning the lessons of the past that keep reoccurring okay uh, i feel that you will in the near future you will be able to sleep better at night okay you won't be worried as much anymore okay and again with the star card you're following your dream come true now when i asked about um wait a second okay this this is the conclusion Okay, so in the conclusion, well, before I talk about the conclusion, when I saw that this is what's underneath the deck here, okay, you had the Nine of Cups with the Four of Swords. So someone here was definitely taking time out to heal and uh, body, mind, and spirit and getting the clarity that they needed. And what's going to come in with the Four of Swords is the Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands. So there will be um, communication here. It's about clearing the fog. Uh, you're seeing everything that you need to see. A lot of communication, a lot of great ideas that are taking place. Okay, having that vision, you're you're focused, and you have a target here. You're focused, and with the four wands energy, there could be a proposal, happy events taking place in the home. There's a strong foundation here. There's not going to be much interferences anymore. I do see eleven eleven. This could be a twin flame reading for some of you out there. Um, it could be about buying a home or renovating at home as well. 
but there is some type of proposal. Now, in the conclusion here, what I received, okay? So I talked about where someone here is still releasing, right? Letting go of their dreams or their passions because they're not, in the moment, that's how they're feeling. But what's showing up is that there is, again, a divine connection here for you. Okay, it's a beautiful divine connection. This could be a lover, a friend, soulmates, it could be anything. And there's a choice that you will have to make. Um, there's going to be a lot of messages coming in for you. Fast-paced messages that you're going to have to go on the run here. Uh, and it's a beautiful healing that's taking place. Beautiful healing. So you could be dealing with Gemini. There's Leo. Okay. There's Aquarius, Taurus. Aries, whatever the case here, okay, what I'm being shown is that uh, this is about your self-confidence and something inside you or the person or just the whole situation, something got tamed inside, okay, got put to rest. There's a beautiful healing and um, I see I see Lionsgate. I'm feeling Lionsgate for a lot of you, the 888, right, in August, I don't know, I'm picking June to August, anyway. Uh, there's something definitely coming into divine timing for you, okay? It's a positive news, and you've been seeing these signs for a long time now. And I have the King of Cups, right? And I do have the Queen of Cups energy as well. So there is two people that do love each other, or this is you, that is more stable in your emotions with the King of Cups, or there is someone that's like that for you. And I got the King of Pentacles, and underneath the deck, I also have the King of Pentacles, the Queen and King of Pentacles here. Together, two people that are successful. The king and queen of their castle. Very successful and victorious. So this is your month of March. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, stay tuned because I am going to give you an oracle card. These are new cards I got for you. Virgo. Okay, so this is uh, the Cosmic Journey oracle cards from Yannick Silver. They're very fun and light but they are very accurate in the meaning and uh, so let's see this is for january february and march 2022 okay they're ready Okay, <laughs> you got number five. So the five, the theme number five was in your readings. So let's uh, look at your, your card. You could look at your card while I read you the passage, okay? Here we go. Befriend your fear monster, Virgo. Just as you are about to step forward in all your fullness and authenticity of remembering your greatest work in the world, the fear monster interjects and says, who am I to do this great work? Will my health suffer? Will my, son, will my family be neglected? What if somebody else does this better? I don't have the resources I need. I don't know enough to make this happen. No matter what you already achieved, fear seems to change and morph, morph to, get, to get you from another angle. The fear monster whispers, what if you don't live up to your fullest potential here? There's a reason we hold on to these fears. Somehow they serve us. For example, fear can prevent us from starting a new endeavor, thereby saving us from failing. There could be an old pattern or story that you're still living out. However, you cannot truly get alignment with your greatest work until you walk through the darkness. So what's the solution? Feel fully. Allow your fear to move through you without giving in to it befriend your fear monster and the question here is what purpose are your fears serving you virgo okay and it says spend at least an hour in a pitch black room alone with your thoughts to face the darkness if you can find a sensory de deprivation tank a pitch black light proof soundproof environment heated to the same temperature as your body so this is interesting. This is beautiful. This is for you, Virgo. So befriend your fear monster. You know, I did that once a long time ago. 
And actually, I think it was, um, I just like say it was Matt Kahn that, uh, who I have underneath my video. I'm not affiliated with him, but I do promote him and share him around the world because <laughs> he changed my life around when it came to my fears, especially. And, um, and he did the same thing. He sat in the dark in his room for an hour uh, because he had fears too, right? And uh, yeah, and then when that fear came along, he said, okay, show me. And like, what is it that, you know? And, and at the end, it was nothing. It was just her thoughts that created that. Okay, so now I will take out for the month of March, what does uh, our beloved universe want to tell you, Virgo? for you is to trust your divine counterpart is already in your life a need to trust in divine plan at this time so it's about divine uh it's about divine uh divine plan at this time divine timing okay the next card you got is syn synergistic this is your energetic match two birds sing sweeter than one this is your energetic match. Two birds, uh, uh, two birds, sing sweeter than one. And next, you got attract. Set your intentions high and know you deserve to receive love, joy, and happiness. Well, Virgo, I hope that you did enjoy your uh, three-month prediction. Don't forget to comment, uh, share, and like like the video because it does help me on to stay strong on on YouTube, and also subscribe to my channel if you may. And uh, know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember that we are light, we are love, and we are one. Please take care. And I'll see you sometime in February. Bye-bye. I love you.